Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the Orter Laser Master Pro 2. Friends, today we're going to install a roller accessory from ComGrow. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So attaching it is simple. There is a wire. You take off the Y axis, you attach it here, you're good to go that way. So, friends, at this point, we need some measurements. This roller is 15.2, and the piece of wood that I'm going to play with is 28.4. So you need to make sure that you've got it square. I am squaring mine up simply with a two by four. When I've got those like that, I'm good to go. Then we're gonna align this with the roller, but there are a ton of settings we need to do in light burn first. You'll also have to raise your laser up. I created these little blocks that are about three inches by four inches by two inches. So the single block system can work three different ways. All right, friends, so here we go in the settings. First, I've got light burn launched we are going to power up the laser and it'll freak out because it can't home so we manually cancel the Y. So right there that gets it so we can start playing. Now in Lightburn make sure that you're connected. I'm gonna go to COM3, mine always does that. In a second we'll hear the laser do its homing again and I'll cancel that out. And that homing is a huge problem for us. So let me show you how to fix it. We are going to set up two separate profiles. Right now I want you to go to edit. I want you to choose machine settings. And I do want you to know this only works when the laser is connected. And we need to save it to a file. This is going to be called our default. I'm going to just put default. It asks me where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in my documents folder. I'm going to name it default. And I'm going to hit save. Now I also want to save it again as a rotary. So now I'm going to do save file, same location. I'm going to type rotary setup and let's hit save just like that. Now this one we're going to make some changes. We need to hit soft limits and shut those off. We need to hit homing cycle and shut it off. Those would have been a problem as we were using the other system. Now we're going to hit OK and it'll say hey you need to write these to your machine. So we are gonna say yes. We're gonna write those codes to the machine. It'll only take a minute and that step will be done. Friends, at this point you can switch to your move and you can actually see your laser move. So you can see I am moving it closer to a location where we'll be able to play with it. All right, friends, so at this point I need you to hit edit and we need to go to device settings. Now on your device settings, we need to make sure we get rid of auto home on startup. We don't want this while we're using the rotary attachment. Then you can click OK. Friends, I need you to click edit. I also need you to hit settings and I need you to make sure that you have show rotary enable on main window. Click OK to cancel that out. Right up here, we need to click laser tools and we need to bring out the rotary setup. We're gonna use a roller, we need to do rotary and then right here, you're gonna type 15.2. And then move down here and put that same 15.2 in here and click somewhere else. If you ever hit okay, it goes away and you don't want that. So friends, we put in the 15.2 and it gives us a 47.52. So we need to delete that and type 47.52 because that's how many millimeters it takes to go around one roller. Now we're going to use this same sweet calculator to figure out how big our part is. So remember that was 28.4, at least for the part I'm using, yours will be different. But this way you know that your circumference of your shape for what you could etch is going to be 89.2. So this is handy. I'm also going to tell you we need to turn on mirror and hit OK. Friends, we need to create a test design and we're going to do that with a rectangle. Simply bring it out, touch any numbers you want, make sure this is unlocked, and then we're going to type that 89.22 for the measurement in the height. This is the size we determined with that circumference number. Then I want you to come over here and set that as toolpath 1. I'm also going to take the width of it and I'm going to set it to 30 for this project. Let's see how accurate our measurements are. Let's select this and do control D. Let's make the second one the black so it's going to cut and let's change its measurements so I am shrinking it down until it's crazy skinny. So friends, I'm going to drop in our little block of wood. I'm going to use the commands to move, to nudge over, 
I can slide this under and you can see that I've got that set just about perfect. The Y axis is free so I can just move it until I've got it exactly over the middle of that and then the middle of this is where it's going to cut. So right now I'm near the edge. Alright friends, so let's make sure we've got our settings right. I'm going to have it start from current position. I'm going to do this top left corner for the job origin and then we can simply hit frame to see what it's looking like so far. As you can see the design moves back and forth. Looks like it has potential. Alrighty friends, so as we check our cuts and layers, I want that to be a line. I'm going to tell it 1200, I'm going to tell it 100% power, and I want it to be one pass. Now I'm going to put on my goggles and let's see how close it comes to going all the way around. Alright, I'll take the glasses off. Alright friends, so for the sake of today's video, I'm going to just leave that gap. I'll get my settings adjusted and I'll share those later. Friends, right now, I just want to show you how to put some cool text on a cylinder. So let's get cracking. Alright, I'm going to take this file and I'm going to do file and I'm going to do save. Put it in my documents and it's going to be test. Now I'm also going to do file save as. And I'm going to call this template rotary. Because it has this build area. So I'm going to delete the rectangle. And then I'm going to stretch this one out. So right now I'm going to give myself 50 millimeters to play with. If I press enter, then boom, that is where I can build my design. And we need to click file and choose import to find our image. I'm going to bring in my let's get cracking image. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and let's shrink it down and let's put it on this cool little cylinder. I'm going to move over to cuts and layers, set this one to number one. I'm going to tell it the speed I want is 2000, the power I want is 90, I'm going to stay with 0.1, and friends I'm going to put on my goggles, and let's hit start and see what we make. Alrighty friends, so we are done. Let's see what we made. Oh my gosh friends, there is our first laser design going around a shape. How fun is that? Now this stuff does not burn well, it's some serious hardware, so I'll keep playing with my settings. Alright friends, so there you have it. We are successfully using the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2 with a ComGrow rotary attachment. Friends, I need to give a shout out to one of my viewers though. Techie Dad hooked me up with the Louisiana Hobby Guy who had a light burn post. Friends, I will make sure I have a link down below to the Louisiana Hobby Guy as well. He's got so many cool videos and you'll definitely learn a ton checking them out as well. Friends, of course, there will be more content coming up about the laser and the roller. And of course, you can check the description if you're looking for links. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.